All right. Hello, everybody. It's Jay Godwise. Um, this is lesson number 47. Don't get sidetracked. Don't get bogged down. This is a very important lesson because it happens to everyone. You need to figure out what's important in your life and do that. Um, there are people that get trapped playing video games and spend five hours a day playing video games. They do this through their four years of high school and end up nowhere. If they spent five hours a day learning to do anything else, they'd be a millionaire. You can get, there are people that waste an hour on Facebook or on Twitter or whatever they're doing. And if they had spent that hour a day something else, it would be useful. There's an old saying, do nothing which is of no use. Whatever you spend your time doing, you get good at. Don't get sidetracked and, and lose your goal. It, that's one of the most important things about goal setting, and this isn't necessarily that lesson, but don't get sidetracked. Figure out what's important and do that. Kind of say to yourself every morning when you look in the mirror, and you should look in the mirror every morning, face yourself. I have a saying to people, I said, you must, li you must live in a house with no mirrors. And I don't mean that physically, I mean that psychologically, spiritually, emotionally, whatever it is, that you need to look at yourself honestly every day. And if you look at, you know, don't get sidetracked, don't get start playing. You know, there's kids that play around and throw pillows at each other. They play around and do stupid stuff and they end up nowhere because they can't figure out what's important and stick to that. They want to do the dumbest, littlest things and then you're going to be a year older. There's the, uh, William Blake's poem, um, If, if you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run. Every 60 seconds in life, you should be a minute farther down accomplishing something. Um, and, you know, you can have a weekend where you have recreation and have fun. You can have, take a nap. You can just sit and, you know, twiddle your toes in the sand or whatever. And that's valuable, but know you're doing that and you're recharging, refreshing yourself. But if you are getting sidetracked on the dumbest little thing, I know people before there was internet, people would sit and watch a, a sitcoms and they would, they would spend three hours a night watching the dumbest TV shows. I know I had students that could tell me every episode and who did what Marshall or Greg Brady did on the Brady Bunch. They would tell me, I had kids that couldn't pass physics or chemistry, but they could tell me what happened on an episode of a sitcom 20 years ago. It was amazing. So whatever you think's important, do that, but don't get sidetracked on the dumbest, littlest things. Give your life to what is important to you. Whatever you give your life to, you become. As the great Nietzsche said, you know, beware battling monsters lest you become one. Whatever you do, whatever you give your time to, you become. So don't get sidetracked on doing the silliest things. Or just admit you don't have a goal and you want to be a loser. And that's fine, too. If your goal is to be a loser and you accomplish that, that's good. But don't say, oh, I want to be a great dancer. I want to be a great athlete. I want to be a great tennis player. I want to be a great surfer. I want to be a great musician. Oh, and then spend your time watching TV or playing World of Warcraft or whatever video game is important now. Understand, this is a pretty simple lesson like most of them, but it's pretty valuable. Don't get sidetracked or bogged down with a bunch of useless stuff. All right. Uh, many questions? No. Nope. All right. Talk to you later.